so far this year. We have Jonathan Christie, the beaten finalist four years ago, up against Lin Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei. Well, this match is from the top half of the draw. And of course, in the top half of the draw, we lost the defending champion and reigning Olympic champion, Victor Axelsson, in the first round. He was clearly and not a fully fit when he went on to court and after losing the opening game against Ng Ka Long, he uh, decided he'd had enough. So we're down to seven seeds here in the second round. Started with eight seeds. And here come the players. Jonathan Christie. Lost out to Chen Long of China in 2019. There he is, the former Asian Games gold medalist. Silver medalist at last year's Asia Championships. And he's won two World Tour titles this year, uh, both at 500 level. His home event, the Indonesia Masters, and also the Hong Kong Open. Well, his opponents really made a breakthrough. Lin chun -Yi, the tall left-hander from Chinese Taipei, uh, back in uh, 2019 when he won the US Open 300 event okay, as so a qualifier. Lin, like score black or red? Uh, this is the first is meeting red, between these black. two players. It is black. Chooses the left side. So Service. Jonathan Christie chooses ends and wishes to start the far side of the court as we will look down during the rallies. Turn 26 last month did Jonathan Christie born in the Indonesian capital of Jakarta. 179 he equates to 5 foot 10 and he actually went up one place in the world ranking published a couple of days ago up to number six but did spend 10 weeks from the end of January earlier this year as world number two. A beat the beaten finalist from 2016 Kenta Nishimoto in the first round here 21-11-21 19. So to the tall left-hander, Lin Chun Yi. 24 years of age, turned 24 at the beginning of this month. And he's two places down from his career high of 22 on the world rankings. This is his first ever French Open. And I was telling you that he won the Thailand Masters, also played his home event, a Super 100 event, which he won, Ko Shuang Masters. Now, in the first round, he beat a player who had been promoted from the reserve list, Lei Lan Si from China. Came from a game down to win 21-11 in the deciding game. Incidentally, uh, Lei Lan Si replaced the 2021 winner, of the men's singles, Kanta Suniyama in the main draw. So our court officials from Australia and Korea, Jeetan Bat from Australia in the umpire's chair. Huge number of tournaments played this year by Lin Chun Yi. 20 tournaments, two titles from two finals in 20 tournaments played. Three finals from 14 tournaments played for Jonathan Christie. Ready to play. Iwansia, the Indonesian men's singles coach, looked a little bit nervous at the back of the court there.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lin Chun Yi, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Jonathan Christie, Indonesia. Lin Chun Yi to serve, Lovell, play. So the left-handed Lin Chun Yi in Chinese Taipei. Nearest to us as we look down on the court. Oh, what a net shot from Jonathan Christie. Service over. One love. I was telling you that he reached the final four years ago, Jonathan Christie, losing out to Chen Long, but in the semi-final he had the most remarkable match against Victor Axelson. He was 10-19 down in the deciding game. Victor Axelson got cramp, and Jonathan Christie promptly run the next 11 points to close out the match. 21-19 in the deciding game. I'm sure you remember it well, Steve. Yeah, I do. Then it's difficult you know, because your opponent can go so sharply for one. You have 11 chances to two score one or two love. points. Yeah. But uh, Christie played it beautifully. It didn't give Axis and any chances of uh, playing sharp to the net or hitting the lines. Error on the return of serve. Three, love. Now, Steen, I've just spent a, a, a very informative hour with Professor Collet from Ren University. Yeah. Uh, talking about the difference of a left and right hander hitting a slice shot. Yeah. And scientifically, he's a physics professor, and scientifically, he's proven that it's very different. Okay, that's interesting. Love. It's very interesting because the natural flight of the shuttle, as you're looking at the feathers yeah. as a player going away from you, the shuttle spins anti clockwise. When a right hander slices from their forehand corner across court, it accelerates spin. That, that spin. When a left hander plays against the flight of the, of the uh, or the feathers of the shuttle, then the shuttle spins clockwise for a short period of time, then comes out of the spin and flies without any spin before going into its natural. Wow. Yes, which means... It should reduce the speed. It reduces the speed, which means that it takes By longer love. to go over the net, but it comes down at a more acute angle. Yeah. He's proved it scientifically. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's really nice that for the first time someone has actually done that research. Uh, that uh, Absolutely. It, it's absolutely fascinating. Steen, you would love to see the footage. Yeah. But that also must mean that the reverse slice exactly. is the opposite. Exactly. Well, this is a marvellous start for Christie, isn't it? Six love. Six love. Shuttle, Jonathan, shuttle. <laughs> yeah. The other thing he was explaining to me is that the shuttle, when it's hit, expands outwards yeah. and then goes back to its normal shape. And there's, they've not been able to find a man-made product that has the flexibility and strength at the same time to replace the feathers that come from a goose. The, the ones that does that, they're going to get very rich. Yeah, whoever comes up with that, yeah, indeed. Eight, Eight love. love. Can you believe this? Well, it might still transpire, but I was very much looking forward to this match because I, I thought this... Too would be very close. I wonder if that strapping on the uh, left knee of Berlin is um, significant. We're so used to seeing players with all kinds of strappings on that are precautions. And it's gone long as well. I think it's Nine fast playing love. conditions today, Steve. 
Sorry? I think it's fast playing conditions. Yeah. 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 Finally, the first over. point on the board. One, nine. Yeah, I look forward to seeing this match as well because I, I've never really called a match with Lin, but I've just seen him out of the um, corner of my eye or catching glimpses of it. Uh, lost to Rasmus Gimke last week. I don't know if you called that match. I can't, can't remember. No, that <laughs> all these matches. They go into a blur. Well, you're so focused on the match yeah. you're calling. No. Exactly. But he's, he's done extremely well um, against strong players. He's beaten Naroka, he's beaten Shiuchi, he's beaten Li Shijia, and th those likes, and uh, like won three out of five against top ten players. No, that's not right. Three out of eight against top ten players. That's a good uh, score, in my opinion. Yeah, it certainly is. And uh, one more than he's lost against top 20 players this year, so um, he definitely has some potential. Three, yeah. nine. Reminds me a little bit about Ye Hong Wei in the uh, doubles disciplines. Maybe just because yes. he's a left hander and yeah. he's attacking. Uh, and tall. Yeah, exactly. Service over. 10-3. Turn. 11 3 interval. So it's a huge lead, an eight point advantage for the former finalist Jonathan Christie here at the mid game interval of the opening game. One twenty seconds, court one twenty seconds. Thank you, coach. Eleven three play. There's been one player from Indonesia and one player from Chinese Taipei who have won the men's singles title here at the French Open since 2007. Chou Tian Chen, player from Chinese Taipei. In fact, he was in three finals, but he lost earlier today. Won in 2014. And the only Indonesian to win was in... 2010, Taufik Hidayat. Yeah. It was his first and only Super Series title when playing in his eighth Super Series tournament final. And in fact, he finished his career having been in 10 Super Series finals, only winning the one here, wow. the French Open. That's amazing, isn't it? It is. Yeah, but he had an Olympic gold medal. Asian Games golds. World Championship golds. Yeah, that's good attack. Service I like over. that. Five, twelve. There was a very strange opening from Lin Chun Hee. It was like he was very nervous or something. It was strange. Yeah.
Oh, good net shot. Yeah. That was super. 6 12. From the left hander. Take a look at this. Look, he just sort of chopped underneath that. Didn't take it particularly high. Magnificent shot. Here it is again. Look at this. Wow. Brilliant. Oh, sure. All oh, the strapping has gone loose. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that. It'd be very annoying flapping about. <laughs> oh, good smash. Seven, twelve. Just wide. Service over. 13-7. I know this is the first time that you've really seen uh, the left-hander up close and yep. commentated yep. on him. Have you have you got any feelings yet about where his qualities are? No, I, I think uh, that's my perception of what I've seen of the bits and pieces that, that yeah. he's sort of like technical uh, attacking player. Looking for Service the uh, over. opportunities. Eight thirteen. And what what we just um, you told me about the um, the feathers spinning and so on that that's totally in line with uh, I think he's got um, a really good attack uh, steep smash. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. But Nine it, it also 13. seems a little bit like um, yeah like he's a little bit raw. It seems, even though he's been playing a long time on the circuit and so on, but I think what, what's the, the uh, trademark of the uh, very best players is that they know exactly what they can do and what will help them against uh, fellow um, top players. So you can see that he's not afraid of uh, relying on his defense. Good little deception on the clear there. Ten thirteen. Johnson, Johnson, return the shuttle. Yeah, return the shuttle. Return the shuttle. Yeah. That's the umpiring we need. Exactly. Return the shuttle before mopping, before getting a towel. Uh, the shuttle. Okay, thank you. Ten thirteen. No. You had to load us next time. Okay, come here. So come it's okay if you want to change shuttle, be ask me earlier. When you had it there, you could ask then. So next time, ask sooner. But you can change now if you yes. want. But next time, be conscious, okay? I want very, to next time. Very good umpiring. Yes, because he's telling what Ten, he wants 13. in the future. Yeah. And Jonathan Christie wasn't aware of it mm. prior to this. But now he knows that if yeah. you want to change, take a look at it. When you've, when you've returned the shuttle, there's no more chances for you to change it. Oi. But it's one of the, it's the, the things 14, that is slowing 10. down play nowadays. Yes. Very often we see players ready to serve and receive, and then one of them asks for the shuttle to be changed, and that's way too late. Yeah. Mm. 
No, it fell back inside. 15 10. I was ready to pounce on that one. Two little chops underneath the, 16, the shuttle to 10. play net shots from Lin Chun -Yi. Yeah, wrong choice of shot, I suspect. Both players hesitating. Service over, Quick forward there, Christy. That's better. Service over. 17-11. Last week in the first round of Denmark Open, Jonathan Christie was 15-10 up in the first game against um, Cho Tientian. Blew the lead, lost the first game 21-17 and then 21-12. Seventeen eleven. Yeah. That's a shot. Eighteen eleven. Slice across court. Service over, 12-18. Well, if he hadn't found himself at Love 9 down in this opening game, <laughs> it would have been extremely close, wouldn't it? It would. It would. Oh, that's nice. Uh, thank you. 13, to add 18. to the sort of profile of um, Lin Chun Yi that I think he's got a really, really high top level, but perhaps not the most uh, steady um, lower level yet. I think that would tie in completely with what we've seen this year. He's had 10 first round losses, three second round losses, but of course, He's won two titles. 14, yes. 18. Service over, 19-14. Yeah, I like that net exchange. And they're challenging each other. Cross-court net shots, one after the other, one from either player. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Nineteen fourteen. Game point in Chile was trying to guess, and he guessed to his backhand side. Was nowhere near the sideline of his forehand side, but he was nowhere near it. So, six game point opportunities for Jonathan Christie. Game only needed the one. 21-14, the opening game. game. Won by Jonathan Christie, 21-14. 21 minutes for that opening game in favour of the Indonesian Jonathan Christie. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Players back on court. Second game. Level play. So one game to the goods, the former beaten finalist here at French Open, Jonathan Christie. Well, it'll be interesting if Lim Chun Yi is able to keep the score lines Service close over. in these early one stages. It'll be very interesting. And perhaps even uh, get a good start. Well, we basically want the uh, two love home stretch of the first game after falling behind nine nothing. Yeah, that's what you want to focus on. Service over, one, two. Service over, 3-1. Shuttle. No change it's yeah. Service over, 
one. And the way I see it, Lin Chunyi is playing a little bit with the drift. Or he's playing with the small drift there is here in this um, second game. And if he attacks, it should uh, put a little Seven's bit extra over. pressure on Jonathan Christie. Two, the shuttle four. arrives early on in the Indonesian's court. So he needs to be really, really ready. Or he needs to sort of take control of the rallies himself. That's the uh, dangerous thing when you play up against the drift. You feel that you can sort of play the backcourt. But like here, Service if over. you play it without any pressure Five, on, two. then you're in trouble against an yeah. attacking player. Yeah. Brilliant. Six, two. He was wanting to follow forward after this first <laughs> yeah. smash. He did well there to stop and then just leap in the air to play the second smash. There he's wanting to go forward. And good variation in direction of the smash. Yeah. And I, I can't help thinking about your um, professor talk because yeah. it, it opens so many... Um, Things in terms of coaching and um, instruction. Over. Three. Because you basically want right-handed players to hit their smashes with a tiny little bit of slice in it. Mm. To increase the speed. With, uh, 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 with a tiny little bit of um, reverse slice in it to increase the steepness. And left-handers with a tiny little bit of slice to increase the steepness in their smashes. Oh, that's Shot. wonderful. He told me an awful Seven lot more, over. Steen, and I can't Seven, explain it no. all on Three. air. But the interesting thing is, is that when a shuttle is sliced as well, there's something called a Magnus effect. And that actually changes the trajectory in an upward direction before it go starts going yeah. down. Yeah. Eight, three. Nine, three. The defense of um, Jonathan Christie has uh, totally broken down here in the uh, second game. Yeah. Landed on the line. That's a wonderful shot. Ten three. Well, well, well. No doubt he's a talent, is there? Good technical skills, deception from the front court. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, players. Yeah, now look at that racket movement. It was beautiful Ten, images three. of seeing uh, the technique for the hold and flick and then the technique and the block to the net. Got to look almost the same. Almost the same. Service over for ten. Send it in. Yeah. Service over eleven. So to the mid game interval. interval. And it's an 11-4 advantage 
be in favour of Lin Chun-Yi. I remember at the mid-game interval of the opening game, Jonathan Christie was ahead 11-3. What a turnaround. Court one, 11, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Eleven, four. Play. So play resumes. 11 for the advantage for the oh goodness that's broken strings in 12 and Christie's four. racket. Well, if we continue like this, we're going to be treated to a third and deciding game. Yeah, within 35 minutes of play or something. <laughs> yes, but it's a it's a huge different nine. Zero down in the first game and now 12 4 up in the second. Um, oh, I, I, look I, at that net shot. 13. I have a theory four. about what's going on at the moment because yeah. we're seeing an awful lot of surprises in terms of world ranking placements and, uh, and um, world champions uh, knocked out and former winners from last 14, week knocked out four. early and so on. I, I think simply that, um, that the challenge of managing the tournament schedule um, has has been uh, really important here in 2023. We came out of 2022 on the back of the COVID. 15 and, uh, four. This is the Olympic qualifying period, so a lot of players are playing a lot of tournaments. There's a lot of championships. The Asian Games has been postponed. I just think there's a lot of players that are mentally perhaps more mentally than actually physically, but also a little bit physically fatigued. And they try to to see if they can get through the first or second round relatively easily. If they can that, then it's easy to muster up motivation, relatively easy to muster up motivation for the uh, following rounds. Service over, but they're Five, 15. At, at risk in the first two rounds if there's some hungry players that hasn't played that much or hasn't yeah. won that much. Service over, 16-5. This is looking good for Lin Chun Yi. Of course, Jonathan Christie has probably realized that he's not going to get back in this game, most likely. Well, that's 17 five. was millimeter perfect. Yeah. Came off the, the <laughs> racket, but went Service wide. Over. Six, that would have 17. been extraordinary, wouldn't it? Puts the racket up. Look at his interception there, going wide. Yeah, that's a nice drop from Christie. Seven seventeen. Oh, that's, that's why he played it. I can't believe that. Oh. Magnificent. Jonathan what is challenging challenges is Jonathan in. Christie. I saw that as plum on the line. Angry. 
first challenge of this second round men's singles match. Yeah, clearly in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over, 18-7. Play. Uh, it's drifted wide. Two 19, points away now seven. from the second game. And levelling this match at one game apiece. Oof, dear me. 20 game point. Whole seven. host of game point opportunities for Lin Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei. One game all. Game. Tame resistance in the end from Jonathan Christie. Second game Christie. won by Lin Chun Yi. 21-7, one game all. 21-7 confirms the umpire, one game all. And Steen, you were just one minute out. It was 36 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Third and deciding game coming up in two minutes. So the players return to court for the start Final of this game. third and deciding game. Level play. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. One well, love. There's no doubt the momentum was with uh, Lin Chun Yi after the second game. Winning game number two, 21 7. Service over, one all. Silver, two, one. Just going wide. 
I think Service it's over very important to for Jonathan all. Christie. Keep the scoreline close at the start of this deciding game because the intentions are clear. I know we've only had four points so far in this deciding game, but Lin chun -Yi really has continued where he left off in the second, looking to attack as much as possible. Yeah. And that's the way to do it even on this side here. You cannot give away the initiative because then your opponent is going to attack you. Three, two. Okay, thank you. Service over, three all. Oh, oh dear, another string is gone. Four, three. And it's always a trade off uh, finding the right uh, thickness of the strings you want to play with. How often do they break compared to how good a touch you get? Oh, that is superb. Five, three. Now, a bit of a reverse slice on that, so that will have increased the spin of the shuttle. Yeah. It's gone down even quicker. Tension is quite clear. Service over. Yeah, and, and that's also, six. I suppose, how we're going to see Jonathan Christie come out when they change ends. He's also going to try and be controlling from this near side here. The question mark in my mind is how much is the left in the tank with the uh, Indonesian. Missed it. I'm interested, Steam. Why Five, questioning six. the the stamina of the Indonesian, but you're not questioning the stamina of <laughs> Lin chun -Yi. Because I think, from my pers perspective, Lin chun -Yi is probably more hungry. He's the lower-ranked player. But but you're totally right, because he's played more tournaments. He's played seven more tournaments than uh, Jonathan Christie. That's right. And um, I was just about to check whether he was playing Asian games, which I think he might have been. I'm not sure. Six. Oh. No, he didn't. He didn't? No. No. No, he chose to Not play... Not even the team tournament? No, he no. chose to play Koshuang Masters, ah, and okay. he won that. Yeah. But um, yesterday, when, when uh, Christy uh, beat uh, Kenta Nishimoto, that was his first win since his tournament win in Hong Kong. He hasn't won a yeah. match since then. Seven, six. Shuttle. Jonathan Christie, we should point, it, point out, played only last week in Denmark. Yeah. Didn't play the Arctic Open, whereas Lin chun has played both of them. In Finland, he lost in the very first round to Arnold McClay. 
Well, France, who won around here as well. He beat uh, Lakshasen. Nope. Yeah. Who uh, Seven also Seven lost the first all. round in Denmark Open and, uh, and looked a, a shadow of himself. Yeah. Uh, played a good match, a, a good first set today. Uh, Anno Mekle against Nsiyon, but lost it. But he's clearly uh, upped his game, the uh, Frenchman. There's four good French singles players. Lee Chun Yi challenges called Challenge out. Here from Lin Chun Yi. And that's basically to explain that it's not that um, bad a result. Might be a lot of viewers that doesn't know Arnold McClay, but he can actually play. He's a very good player, but he's. It's clearly long. Well done, line Challenge judge. unsuccessful. He One underwent remaining. hip surgery about yes. a year ago. Yes. Over. So he's on the comeback trail Eight, and he's doing seven. extremely well. And he said he, he thought his career was over. Yeah. Frenchman. And he's come straight from Dubai. Not right. Dubai, Abu Play. Dhabi. Where they played the uh, Super 100. That's right. I think he lost in the quarterfinal then, Mertley. This is an important phase, I think, yeah. because I saw a, a change Nine, in attitude seven. and uh, body language with um, Christy. Pushed it wide. 10 7. That flapping bit of strapping on his knee would be really annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's good focus. Lynch and eat. It's not bothered by it. No. That's not at all what his attention is. 11 7. So 11 Interval 7. Change ends. And eight of the last nine points in favour of Jonathan Christie. Momentum switch again. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Thank you, Brian. Eleven, seven. Play. So having one. Eight of the last nine points from three six down. The change ends 11 7 up, but that's just wide. Well, if he loses Lin this challenge, he's challenges got no challenges left. Out. The left hander. Yeah, I think he missed it. Yes, yeah, so do I. the last point before the change of ends was also a sign that he's a little raw in some situations. Yeah, really wide. Yeah. No challenges left. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. 12-7. Play. This is extraordinary turnaround. 13-7. And... and Seen. I'm not try trying to sort of belittle what you said, but to me, it's almost as if Lin Chun Yi has. Uh, he's looking a bit tired. His decision, his 14, decision making has, has gone completely. But uh, but I actually think it fits perfectly in what I said because I said, if you can sort of 
uh, tag along until the match is decided, then you can muster up some energy again. And that's, yeah. I think, what we're seeing Jonathan Christie do here. Yeah. He's raised his game. So I think it fits perfectly. 15-7. Second match of the day, we saw Anthony Ginting off to a terrible start against the home favorite, Toma Junior Popov, but managed to weather the storm and uh, qualify for the quarterfinals. 12 of 13 points now for Christie. Make that 13. 16 of 14 points. And this is where I feel that, that perhaps the toolbox is is lacking a little bit. Uh, how is it we, we do it in, in situations like this, um, combined with that Christie is off his game? Yeah, good smash. Oh my goodness, he needed that. Service over. 8 16. Shuttle, yeah. Shuttle? Looks like something. Service over, 17-8. Six, six one down, playing the same side where he won the first game 21-7. Uh, he won the second game 21-7, Lin Chun-Yi. And it's just not 18, going his way. 8 change, change it. Christy, 15 no. of the last 17 <laughs> points. <laughs> it wasn't swinging. Yeah, that's extraordinary. Nineteen eight. Service over nine nineteen. Yeah. Match point Service opportunities. Over. 20 match point what nine. An extraordinary turnaround by Jonathan Christie from 3 6 adrift in this deciding game. Now on the verge of victory. Saved. If he could bottle that Service smash over. and sell it, 10, he would be a very 20. rich man. That's <laughs> a really, really good attacking shot, Lin Chun Yi. But, but he's going to leave this match and saying to his coach, "What, what, what happened? What happened?" Mm. Eleven twenty. Let, let, wasn't ready. Okay. How did he get that? Game. But this time, Jonathan Christie converts on his third match point opportunity. 21 11 in the deciding game. 
Well, he looked to be in all sorts of trouble after that second game. Match won by Johnson Christie, 21-14-7-21-21-11. Umpire just confirming that scoreline. Well, as I often say, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. It is the final rally. Amazing defence from the left-hander on that forehand side. Couldn't get to the net shot. 21-14, 7-21-21-11 in the deciding game in a match lasting 55 minutes. So Jonathan Christie safely through to the quarter-final, which will take place tomorrow. Welcome back to Ren and second round action here at the Yomix French Open. After that terrific uh, men's singles, we turn our attention to mixed doubles. And this is a fascinating encounter between Chen Tangje and Tou Wei from Malaysia. Up against Li Chun Pei 